Hey guys, so today we're in the studio and we're going to be talking about two brand new Sammy D's in the heart of Chippy Gardens in District 10. So this is 145 Holland Road. They are literally just 5 minutes walk to Holland Village MRT. And we'll be sharing a little bit more about these two brand new builds that will be coming up on two very rarely available plots in the area. But first, let's dive into the location analysis. So these are two brand new Sammy D's, three and a half storeys with a mezzanine and an attic. And this is situated along Holland Road. So this is 145 Holland Road. And if we take a look at where the plots are situated at, we're just five minutes walk to Holland Village MRT. And it's very rare to have landed plots in such close proximity to the MRT station. Walking slightly further down along Holland Road, that will bring you to the entire Holland Village lifestyle enclave where you have your shops and eateries and your cafes. So first, let's talk a little bit about the history of Holland Village and how it came to be a key identity node as listed by the URA. So back in the 1900s, the entire area of Holland V was characterized by this row of shop houses in sort of like a crescent shape along Lorong Mambong and Lorong Liput. These houses were actually built by the British government back then for the military personnel. As the area began to grow and business began to flourish, the Singapore government actually began to build terrace houses for the families of these British personnel. That's why you you see all of these black and white houses in the Chipby Gardens estate. These terrace houses have retained its nostalgic facade over the years. But if you look at the entire Holland Village area in closest proximity to the MRT, you rarely find semi-detached plots in the area. Holland Road is one of the main roads that easily connect you to the CBD as well as Orchard Road. Botanic Gardens, Dempsey Hill, that's about a five minutes drive. The entire Orchard Road belt is a mere seven minutes drive away. We are in close proximity to a number of very reputable schools. So between 1 to 2 km, you have ACS Independent and Barker Road, St. Margaret Secondary, Hua Chong Institution, and Nanyang Girls High, Henry Park Primary, as well as NJC. So this is a less than 10 minute drive to all of these educational institutions. Let's talk about Project Fact. These two brand new SAMIDs are freehold in nature. They're situated along 145 Holland Road. In terms of the plot size, plot 1 is 2593 square feet and plot 2 is 2883 square feet. The frontage for plot 1 will be slightly smaller. So the width of plot 1 is at 11.18 with a depth of 22.89. And then the second plot is slightly larger with a width of 13.04 meters and a depth of 24.26 meters. The total build up for both SAMIDs, the first one is 5,000 seven square feet and the second one is 5910 square feet. A total of five bedrooms, seven bathrooms for both semi Ds. Both houses come with lift access to all three and a half stories as well with a nearly identical layout and floor plan for both and we will dive into the details of the layout after this. The project is set to TOP in the first quarter of 2024. The developer is Wakel Private Limited to mainly develop three whole brand new landed properties in the prime district areas of Singapore like Sentosa Cove in the north region, central and as well as the east. So they are an established residential developer. In terms of build-up, they are actually quite similar. So for the first plot, the build-up is 5,007 square feet. And then for the second plot, the build-up is about 5,910 square feet. In fact, if you put them side by side, they look like a mirror image of each other. Very similar floor plan. So for the first plot, there are a total number of five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, four of which are en suite. And then for the second plot, it's the same number of bedrooms and bathrooms, but you have an additional en suite for the second plot. Taking a look at the floor plan, when you come in on the first level, you will have an elevated car port where you can park at least two cars. When you come in, you will have lobby area as well as bedroom number one with common bath. And then you also have helper's room, the helper's WC. You have lift access to every single floor. Same goes for second plot as well. When you go up to the second story, this is where your main living and dining areas are. You will have a roof garden that extends from your living and dining area. And then you also have a dry kitchen, a wet kitchen and a powder room. And then when you go up to the third floor, floor or rather your mezzanine story so the entire mezzanine level is your master bedroom with your attached bath and it also has an additional study area. When you go up to the third floor, you have two more additional common bedrooms with attached bath. Then at your attic level, you will have another family room or a bedroom with an attached ensuite bathroom, as well as your open roof terrace space. 
So in terms of the land size difference, it's like about 290 square feet difference between port number 1 and port number 2 at 2593 versus 2883 square feet. And in terms of build-up, it's also approximately about over 200 square feet difference. 5007 square feet build-up versus a 5910 square feet build-up. We have a rendering of the exterior facade of both houses. So from the rendering, the exterior facade of the houses, they look really clean, neutral and very modern, sort of minimalistic aesthetic. So now we'll talk about pricing. The first plot with the land size of 2593 square feet is asking 8.1 million. That translates to about 3123 PSF. And then the second plot at 2883 square feet is asking 8.38 million or about 2906 PSF. If we take a look at the four different landed categories in the area, we look at old houses for rebuilt in the area. For example, along Jalan Marasaga, you have old houses for rebuilt, semi D plots of about 3000, 3005 square feet, and the asking between 7.5 to 8 million dollars PSF about 1008 to 2001 PSF and then factoring in your rebuilt costs at approximate build-up space of about 6,000 square feet using about $400 PSF for your rebuilt costs that will take your rebuilt costs alone to about 2.4 million adding that to your land cost of about 7.5 that will bring you just under 10 million at 9.9 .9 million so you also have to factor in your time spent to rebuild so that two two and a half years that you will have to spend and the opportunity cost as well but of course, you will get a brand new house that you get to design from scratch. So the second category of landed houses will be the older houses between 10 to 20 years old. These middle-aged houses that are suitable for rebuild at similar land size is asking in the range of between 8 million to 8.5 million. PSF about 1008 to 2001 PSF. For moving condition houses, you're looking at a PSF range of about 2008 to about 3000 PSF. And the brand new builds in this area are definitely going above 3000 PSF. If you're looking at comparators for brand new houses, this vicinity, a lot of them will be varying over 10 or even 11 million dollars price range due to its larger land plot size. So if you like to keep your overall quantum in the range of about 8 million dollars, under 8.4 million, it would be quite difficult to find something that is brand new in this area as most of the comparators new builds in the area with larger land plot sizes of maybe 3,500 square feet, these plots are going in the range of 11 to 12 million dollars. So for 145 Holland Road, we believe that this hits the sweet spot and definitely fulfills all the criteria for our PLB trifactor sweet spot because it's at the PSF, about 3001 PSF and you get a brand new semi-D with a really good size build-up of over 5,700 square feet and then you have 5 bedrooms, 7 bathrooms. You're keeping your quantum to the $8 million range for a brand new semi-D prime district area that is just a 5 minute walk to Holland Village MRT. So this is 145 Holland Road, two brand new freehold semi Ds, just a five minute walk to Holland Village MRT, three and a half storeys with a mezzanine and an attic as well as a lift with five bedrooms and seven baths at a very sizable build up of about 5,007 and 5,910 square feet which is set to TOP in the first quarter of 2024. If you're interested to find out more about this property, we'll have more information linked on our website and our social media channels and if you'd like to contact our team to find out more, give our listing managers a call. They'll be very happy to answer all of your questions. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our social media channels on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and TikTok. My name is Beatrice, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. And... What else? <laughs> <laughs> Do give our listing manager What's the PSF for that? 8.38 uh, Develop commercial Nah, let's not talk about. Uh, they are. My shoe. <laughs> yeah, that's my shoe. I was playing my foot. Oh, yeah, no, it's not shit. <laughs> Thank goodness, you. Shit. That, that, that. It's just suddenly mind blank. What was I gonna say to all of these educational institutions? Okay, yeah. <laughs>